Okay, so as an ABR engineer, I hear this comment a lot that ABR is a solved problem. I mean, most people have great bandwidth and most services provide decent playback experience. So ABR must be a solved problem. Or is it? Remember that one time you got a rebuffer and that other time you got a pixelated video quality? I mean, these problems are arguably rare, but they do happen, and that's a problem. ABR is not a solved problem. What is true, though, is ABR is super hard to improve upon, especially when problems are uncommon. So I'm TY, and I'm here to share with you how we approach this problem at Netflix. At Netflix, we are very fortunate to have members generating millions of sessions over a wide variety of devices, over a diverse set of network conditions and encoding profiles, and etc. Given such a complex system, uh, the biggest question is how can we find the biggest uh, improvement that we can improve upon? And that, that is a hard problem. So ideally, if we can review every single session uh, of the each individual ABR decisions after the fact, uh, then we can use the observed throughput uh, plus the, uh, the encoding uh, quality that uh, we provided, then we can calculate the optimal ABR decisions. And we can use that to compare it against uh, what we do in production, then we can see what's the, what's the discrepancy. The problem though is this is the optimal selection is actually an NP-hard problem. And if you are uh, a geek like me, then you will know, you will be excited that, uh, to know that this is actually equivalent to the multi-choice, multi-period next step problem. Which is exciting, but it is computationally uh, expensive and not really scalable. But very fortunately though, uh, there is a linear time approximation available. And the main idea is that we can prioritize the bandwidth allocation uh, to the earlier chunk given they have a tighter deadline. So with this idea, we are able to uh, have a scalable ABR review system in production, and we are planning to publish the detail in an upcoming academic conference. So stay tuned, and uh, please come chat with me if you would like to learn more. Thank you.